that Jace Tingler, if you're a Padre fan, at no point this year should you ever bitch and complain Not about anything that this guy does. And let me explain why that is. Because don't blame him. Blame management. If Jace Tingler is a great manager and leads the Padres to the World Series, celebrate management and talk about how great of a general manager A.J. Preller is and talk about how great of an owner Ron Fowler is. But given the fact that they hired Andy Green and got nothing when they knew he was just a guy that was going to babysit, and now that they've got real money wrapped up into real players and they've hired another non-proven commodity first-time manager, if he's a terrible manager, don't blame him. You would have taken the job. I would have as well. <laughs> But don't blame him, blame A.J. Preller, and then blame Ron Fowler because these are the two guys that keep hiring little puppets for managers, guys who don't want to have an opinion. They don't want to go hire a Dusty Baker. They don't want to go hire a Bruce Bochy. They don't want to go hire an old-school guy that's got strong opinions. They want to hire a guy who's fresh, new, inexpensive, and, and can be coached. And it would be fine if there were guys upstairs that you believed in, but you don't believe in these guys yet. So if you don't like Jace Tingler's management style, you don't blame him. You blame the guys that hired him. Because all I see is people trying to kill Tingler for the rotate, the bullpen this, the bullpen that. The same shit I said with Andy Green. He ain't through one strike. He ain't through one ball in the story. Okay? Let these players decide the game on the field, man. Period. Period. Well, I mean, there is there is an art to managing and there is an art to knowing, you know, who's coming up, who pitches well against them, who's in this situation, righty versus righty, lefty versus lefty. I mean, there's all kinds of shit but, you would have to know we, if you were a manager. Yeah, but we both know that that's not how this is done now. Analytics is absolutely crushed baseball managers. Those come, those things come from the top. Those things come from the general manager. Those things come from head of scouting. I don't think Tingler's in the dugout going, okay, I'm going to this guy because I feel it in my gut. He's going to this guy because of the numbers. He's going to this guy because it's lefty, lefty, righty, right, left, right. These, these are all numbers now. Baseball's been crushed by analytics. No guy's managing off their gut. Joe Madden, maybe. Dave Roberts, maybe because they've mm. earned it. They've got credibility. Tingler I don't even got think no Dave Roberts. For that. No, I don't even think Dave Roberts says it, to be honest with you. But yeah. anyway, okay, look, I think the point is, and Alex, you're watching it, I think, every pitch versus us. I mean, I don't know. Did you go from Lakers last night to Padres? I was going a little bit back and forth, but yeah, I, I was watching primarily Lakers. And then at the end I went and I saw Perdomo start the, the blowing and I was like, dude, this freaking bullpen, man. It didn't matter who he put in yesterday from the bullpen. They were giving up runs. So, and one thing that that's not even brought up is the fact that they have to, each reliever has to face at least three batters unless the inning's over. Yeah. I think that's great. You don't like that? Um, I think it adds a dimension that coaches haven't never had to deal with before. When you have lefty specialists for the past X amount of years, and now all of a sudden a lefty specialist is useless because he has to face the next two guys after, um, it, it changes the whole dynamic of a bullpen. Well, the whole game is is different, and managers have to be able to make adjustments. And look, I'm not sitting here trying to break down every move that Jay Stingler has made. I'm just telling you he's a first-time manager. And he's got himself uh, a front office that wants to, to do a lot of the coaching, if you will. And um, I just I just don't think that Jace Tingler is the guy that you should be bitching to when you when, right. you, when you when you ridicule them and say he's the worst manager, or his moves suck. You ought to be thinking to yourself, well, who put him in that position? That's that's my thought. Okay.